Just for the fact that we have made effort at reaching all the service chiefs. I wrote them on Monday and I've been able to communicate with them, but yet no action has been taken. Uh, confirmed reports from Madaka in Madaka local uh, ward, the village has all been burned down now. The district head has been kidnapped and almost about four people there have been killed. And as I'm talking now, the place is on rampage. The whole place is getting burned. Burwaye, Tegina Gaude, Ungwan Sarki Noma, Garamia, Samuna, Kakurumi, and Alawa have presently run, have been presently run down by armed bandits. They have killed so many people, take away so many people as well. And murdered the villages under Erana district in Shiroro local government also is under attack. And they came in their hundreds. And most of them are on motorbike and hillocks. So I wonder how they've been able to move without any, any security agency intercepting them. The cruel criminals wrecked, among other havocs, on their villages. There were a lot of casualties, including abduction. Those kidnapped, including the district head of Madaka and three other village heads. And a large number of his subjects said many houses ablaze and carted away many cattle and other vulnerable assets worth millions of naira. Meanwhile, the dead toll in Kukoki renewed attack have risen to 12, as I'm talking now. And the survivors are rushed to Kutajara Hospital. And even at the Kutajara Hospital, you cannot imagine the pictures I've seen where they are kept. Uh, which means they will hardly survive because they are all uh, having injuries from gunshots. So I'm bringing this matter of urgency to this hallowed chamber to rise to the occasion. The insecurity is becoming alarming. And if we should allow it to continue and we feel safe here, we are not safe. So Mr. Uh, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I am putting this motion so that something drastically should be taken. I will want this House to resolve at calling the security chiefs to order. The security architecture in that area is not working. <coughs> Completely is not working. The bandits from Katsina, uh, Zampara are all in Niger State now. So I want this House to resolve to call the service chiefs to order, especially the army, is the chief of army staff and chief of air staff, because it's beyond the Nigerian police. It's beyond the Nigerian police. Thank you, Mr. President. So, so, what? The lie. I represent Niger North Senatorial District for Niger State. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the motion before us today is the very grave reality of people who are found adjoining the states where crises have been ongoing over the past years. Niger State is bordered by Kebi, Zamfara, Kaduna. Senator Smart Ademi, please leave Senator Olubumi Adetumbi alone. Thank you, Mr. President. Like I said, our state is bordering this very serious crisis situation. Particularly, like we all know, Zamfara State was embroiled in so much of this banditry. And the effort being made in that state is making life unbearable for most of these bandits. And because Niger State is adjoining this state, and the forest area is actually a continuum from that forest reserve in Zamfara State down to Niger State, and many of the local governments around that area are witnessing this very serious issue. Indeed, in my own senatorial district, Magama local government is bordering Zamfara State, and Magama is also bordering Rafi, 
which is the senatorial, you know, the local government in the senatorial district of uh, distinguished Senator Musa Sani. And I think the issue here is we should find a way of looking at this thing holistically. And I know in this hollow chamber we have discussed and deliberated on the issue of insecurity. It is not enough for actions to be taken at a particular point. The security you know, personnel and authorities must realize that when you decimate them in one particular area, they are definitely bound to find where to find solace. And this is exactly what we are witnessing here. And Mr. President, it's a very straightforward motion in terms of the fact that these people need succor. And uh, perhaps when we come to the prayer, uh, we need to add one other prayer apart from what he has added. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, my colleagues. My name is Bima Muhammad Yenagi. I represent uh, the people of Niger South from Niger State. I rise to support the motion raised by my colleague, my brother, Senator Sani Musa. What is happening in this country, I think it needs to be addressed very, very seriously. We have discussed this issue so many times here concerning many other areas of the, state, well, I mean, I mean of the country. We have discussed Zamfara, Katina, and some other states. Now it is Niger State. Some few weeks back, it was Niger North, where Senator Sahabi comes from. Today we are talking about Niger East, where uh, I mean Senator Sani Musa comes from. God knows what will happen tomorrow, whether there will be in Niger South, the people that I represent. I will uh, uh, call on my colleagues to strongly support the motion by my brother, Senator Sani Musa, so that this issue is addressed very seriously. Thank you, Mr. President. There is a single prayer uh, to this motion, and I'll put the question. The, 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 the prayer is the Senate should resolve to call the service chiefs and all security agencies to, as a matter of agency, deploy security to the affected areas and to change, to charge the security, to change the security architecture of the area immediately. Those in favor of this motion say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Additional prayer. Deputy Chief Whip. The additional prayer is urge the National Emergency Management Agency to urgently provide... I hereby second the motion ably moved by the Deputy Chief Whip. I so second. Those in favor of the additional prayer say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. And additional prayer, Senator Abomoro. The, the issue, the motion we have just taken uh, is a very serious one and uh, I will urge that the security agencies should act as quickly and as expeditiously as possible to repel the, the attacks and assaults by the bandits. The essence of any government is the protection of lives and property. And this is one, one thing we have to do to our citizens as, a, as an administration and as a government. Uh, we hope that uh, this thing will be brought to an end and we will do everything possible working together with the executive to ensure that we secure the lives of our citizens as well as their property.